Good morning, my name is Tiffany and I own Sagebrush and Stars. Welcome to my channel. I have a vendor show coming up tomorrow. It's going to be my largest one, a 10 by 10 booth. And so I wanted to take you along today to show you kind of what I'm doing to set up and just kind of what my day looks like today and then hopefully get a little bit of filming from tomorrow as well. So this will be my second vendor show. I had my first one last month. It was good. It just wasn't anything that I expected it to be. I watched so many YouTube videos of people and there's just nothing that really prepares you. And I'm sure it's different per area and by what you're selling. Um, I think there's just a lot of parameters that, you know, my show is going to be completely different than somebody else's. So my show last month, I had a four by eight booth. So it was very narrow, um, and I, you know, it just wasn't a very good size. I sell a lot of different products, and so I had a really hard time kind of condensing them all into that area. Um, I think a larger booth from now on would be better. That one, I just, I got to it too late, and that was all that was left. I also, the show was about two hours away, and I was really stressed in, you know, trying to get there the day of and then do the full setup and then do the show. I just thought that would be really stressful. So they let the vendors come the night before if they wanted to set up. So my husband and I ended up going the night before, kind of took our time, do, did the bulk of the setup, and then we stayed in a hotel that night. And then that way the next morning we were a little bit fresher and you know, just not as stressful. Um, there were pros and cons to that. I didn't, I wasn't planning on putting out any product the Saturday, the night before, but all the other vendors around me that were there seemed to be putting them out and then covering them with sheets. And I actually asked the, the vendor right next to me, you know, what her thoughts were. And she said, you know, most of the time it's fine. You can leave stuff out overnight. Um, you know, I guess it depends on the show and the location. This was at a rec center and they were actually locking the doors after we left and then they wouldn't be open till the next morning. So I felt like it was pretty secure. So I took all my product in. I didn't put all the jewelry out, but I did put like the larger, like the candles and the gnomes and the wreaths and stuff. Um, and it seemed to work out just fine. I think next time probably bring some sheets just so it's covered and, you know, add a little bit extra layer of, I don't know, protection if that really helps protect it. But, uh, yeah. And so the, the hotel was okay. Um, I ended up not, I was so excited. I didn't really get a lot of sleep and, you know, um, hotels, the bed was really uncomfortable. So, um, you know, I wasn't really as refreshed and ready to go the next morning as I was hoping, but we got in there early again, you know, it didn't take us long to finish setting up, um, and kind of got a chance to look around and talk to the other vendors and see other things. So it was, I'm glad that we did it that way. Um, the show itself was very, you know, it was a spring show and I've heard that spring shows are just not as good. You know, there's just not as many people or not as many people buying. I felt like attendance was really good. Um, but there was a lot of looky-loos. So a lot. I mean, a lot of people just absolutely loved everything and then would walk away. <laughs> so it was a little bit frustrating. Just, um, I make high, or actually my mother-in-law makes Highland cows. I'll show you one. So this is one of them. They are the cutest things ever. And everybody absolutely loved them. I mean, they were an attention getter and everybody that walked by, you know, probably 90% of the people that walked by my booth would comment on these cows. They just thought they were the cutest things, adorable. They would pick them up, look at the price tag, and set them back down and walk away. <laughs> and so I know that's an indication that they're priced too high, but honestly... I don't, I have tried really hard to price my things very reasonably, and I can't 
put these much lower than they are. So I was just very discouraged because I felt like they were, you know, people felt like they were overpriced and they weren't selling because of that. Um, I sold quite a few gnomes, which I was, you know, kind of surprised. I hardly sold any candles. I make dessert candles and I felt like people didn't really understand what they were. And I didn't sell really any necklace necklaces at all. I sold some earrings, but there was, it wasn't a juried show and there was so many jewelry vendors that it just really made it, you know, saturated the market. So I don't think any of the jewelry people did very well. Um, it, you know, the show itself was a lot of stop and I guess I thought it would be a lot more like rushes and then nobody and then rushes and then nobody. And it actually was a pretty steady trickle. There was a couple of little rushes, but not really what I thought it would be. And I did most of my sales between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Um, I hardly had any activity after one. It just, you know, there were still people, but hardly anybody was stopping. Um, I think I made two sales after that time. So it just, it kind of got boring. That was another thing that really surprised me was I got bored. Um, you know, just kind of sitting, like when people were there and when they were buying things, it was very exhilarating. But when they weren't, it was so boring. So I know that's just part of it. Um, I just wasn't expecting that. I thought it would be a lot more of, you know, big rushes and then have some time to kind of, you know, put out more stock and, you know, take a breather and then another big rush. I just wasn't really prepared for more of a steady, very slow pace. So, overall for the show, oh, another thing that really surprised me was the amount of support I got from the other vendors. There, that just blew me away completely. It was like a whole community, and when they found out that it was my first show, they were so supportive and offering me advice, and they would even come back at the end of the day and say, how did you do? And, you know, this is what we thought the show was and, you know, make me feel better if I thought that I, you know, didn't sell as many candles as I thought I would or sell as much jewelry. And so just reassure me, you know, that about the show and, you know, some of the comments from them was there was a different, I think they call him a promoter for the show. And, this new person didn't really do a lot for advertising, and so they felt like that made a big difference. Um, they just didn't feel like the show was as good as it in previous years. So, you know, a lot, but, like, I have it. Sorry, one more thing. So, I even had a lady, and I'll, if I can figure out how to link. Um, sorry, I'm doing all this. But she is with... Abigail Esther creative artist designs and so she was so sweet and she you know earlier in the day came by stopped by you know found out it was my first show was just you know she offered so much advice and was like if it doesn't turn out great it's not you like there's so many other things she's like your booth is so cute um and so at the end of the day she stopped back by and she gave me this she had made it while she was at the show and, you know, just a little token of, um, you know, just, just such a nice gesture. So I just, she went so above and beyond. She even wrote a little note on the tag saying, happy first show, your work is beautiful. So I just was so overwhelmed. I almost started crying. Um, that right there made the whole show worth it. So it was, it was really neat. Overall, I, if we had not had the hotel room, I probably would have made a profit from the day, but with the hotel room, and then of course you gotta get dinner and breakfast and, you know, the added food expense, I came out negative. I think I was, with the cost of the show, the hotel, um, I don't even think I included all of the food in my calculations, um, and... 
like the cost of goods that I sold and then I ended up giving a lot away too to um like I had some friends and family come and so I you know kind of gave them the friends and family discount so I was about $30 short for the day which considering it was like a two-day thing and how much work it was I was a little bit disappointed and I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't sell more candles I didn't sell more jewelry um the things that I sold are things that I honestly kind of want to get away from making if possible so that was really a disappointment and like these cows I started to get really frustrated when people would tell me how cute they were because I sold one one cow that's it I took a whole bunch I have different colors I have different styles they have a little different things and for as much as people absolutely love them I sold one so that was probably the most frustrating part and some of it's probably it's just a spring show people don't necessarily it's not like it was Mother's Day it's not like it you know is in the middle of March so there wasn't any real holidays around it it was the day after St. Patrick's Day even um and so I think it was just timing but still it was a little bit frustrating 